What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K-Pop Kimchi Podcast, your number one podcast for girl groups with the number one fanboys. I'm your host, Justin Turnout, with my co-host, Brian Limper, and we're here for a special episode, the second special episode for Universe Ticket. Universe Ticket. We know the fans are dying to know Not our to thoughts. be confused with Universal Ticket, which that, is a ticket you get to go to Universal Studios. Exactly. Don't look that up. Universe Ticket. Universe Ticket. We uh, were extremely excited for this because after the first episode, we were kind of feeling it and we're ready for uh, we were ready for more, more elimination head to head elimination challenges, and we happened to get one, two, three, three of them. <laughs> that I was, was gonna it. say I feel like not much happened as no, far no, no. as we didn't get too much. So if you listen to our last episode, you know that the show started. Oh, and yeah. they're starting off with a head-to-head battle, and they divided the girls into groups of 41. Mm-hmm. The top 41 and the lower 41. Mm-hmm. And the top 41 got to choose who they wanted to face off in a battle against. That, in the end, really doesn't mean much. Um, no, not at all. But they basically had to like showcase their skills singing and dancing against the other girl they chose to go against. And this week's episode started out with a battle between friends who used to be on some YouTube YouTube channel thing kid together. Show hosts? I don't remember what it was called, but apparently they're really popular. It was popular like a, it was people like a children's they were. show. They were, like a, they were like a host of like a child show. And people knew them. Yes. Friends turned enemies. Pretty much. They like really made this one like really personal. Yeah. And it was Sungbi versus Yuna. Sungbi was the higher ranked one at 33. And the other girl was 49. So I mean she was barely under the I mean, 40 really, mark. Yeah. Splitting hairs kind of. And sometimes they, like, they have, like, the reasoning behind why they picked people. And it's just kind of like, why would you, like, hold some grudge against this person instead know. of just going against somebody you know you can beat? Yeah, it, it. some of them don't really make sense. Yeah, we'll get into one later on. I was just kind of like, why would you even pick this person? I just don't understand. Right. But, Sung B danced to a song called One Two Three Four. I didn't really catch who it was by. But she did a pretty good job. Mm-hmm. But then she was another one of those ones that did like a singing and then did a dancing section instead of doing a both together. Sure. And she danced to Boss by NCT. Yeah. And that really had the judges out of their seats. They were really feeling that one. Yeah. They thought she did a really good job. Then next was Yuna, who was like apparently her like friend slash mortal enemy in life. And she danced to... Don't know what to do by Blackpink, and she actually danced and sang at the same time, and the judges are really impressed too. Yeah. And Sung V got the win there. I really wasn't sure who was going to win that one because it was kind of in the air. Both people were good. Seemed pretty even, honestly. Both people could dance. Both people sang pretty well. So really a toss up. Literally, literally like flip a coin. But the higher seed won that one. Next we had number thirty six. Jang Sua and number 53 Narumi and let me tell you from the very start when they walked on the stage Narumi's aura was very different compared to the other people we've seen so yeah before. and they made that perfectly clear they really did um Jang Sua danced to Smiley which we saw the other girl dance to in the last episode they've had a, quite a few repeat songs yeah I don't know if they got to pick their own songs or there's like a list because it's kind of seemed like we've, when they set up a little iPad they had, like, a list of stuff that they could sing. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know if that's true or not. She had, like, multiple repeats. And she didn't, like, so dance to Smile. She did a good job. Yes, yeah, solid. And then Narumi came and danced to Gotta Go by uh, Chunga. And she kind of killed that stage. So it's kind of like... Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely going to win this one. Right. And that's how 53 he got the big upset. Right. And, I mean, she was really good. Yeah, Actually, they both were good. Yeah, they're, it's the thing about this show... Is everyone's been pretty good besides Unche and the person Unche went against? Terrible. Like, literally, I don't think I've heard the judges say one really negative thing to anyone but them, too. <laughs> like, they, they we, these people were good, too. I mean, they were just good, solid performances, you know? Like, legit. Like they're not, like, perfect, <laughs> but they're still good. I was going to say, like, legit, the only people we've seen that have been bad. So, I mean, granted, they didn't show, like, every single person that's gone true, because they cut true. a bunch of it out. Yeah, they really did. But... Every single person that we've seen so far do something has been light years better than oh, Check easily. Was. And like, oh, easily. Not even close. And, like, the judges applaud them. I mean, the one girl, uh, did we, is it the girl? I don't remember. She didn't even, like, do great. But the, the judges still, like, kind of laughed and applauded her. And were like, you know, you tried hard. You kept your energy. Like, just worked to get better. But, like, they were straight up, like, 
to Eugene Shea or, and, or like, you, do you even want to do this? Like, like are you even here for any reason? Do you even want to do this anymore? Like, right do you, like, it was just, you know. And, I mean, that was what, what needed to be said, honestly, because they did not do a very good job. They did really bad. It wasn't but, like a case where the judges were just kind of being jerks for no reason. Like, it was kind of deserved at the point. But yeah, so they were both really good. Um, but you got to have a winner, you got to have a loser. Then we got Gabby, who was can she was Canadian. I don't know. Uh, I said it weird. She's from Canada. She's like Canadian Korean. I yes, guess? and she has the very white features like other past Canadian. Really, people just the had. Canadian like Somi, Jay. Yeah. Um, ah, Jay, I miss you. <laughs> I really miss Jay. Little, literally anybody you can think of that's from Canada. But she came on and she was really good too. Yeah, another very solid performance. And you know that she was good enough because it didn't even show who the other person was she went against. Oh man, that's my favorite. That so, is I mean, my favorite. The whole other person is there. We don't even get to see their face. Yeah, it says Korean Canadian trainee, so she is. Yeah. Korean Canadian. Then we had a girl named Anxin. I believe that's how you say it. It was like A N X I N, which mm-hmm. is. Oh yeah. She like went and she yep. was also against somebody who just they did not show. But the person that did not show got one, right? Got one. So that was our first not showing of the other person where they actually got a point. So kudos and to she them. She is like apparently like the pride and joy of this uh She had like pet elephants, right? Or something. Yeah, she was like, she was like I guess tic- she's from like a TikTok person. Thailand and she but she was born in... I'm going to butcher this name, by the way, so I completely apologize. We apologize in advance. It's like, <laughs> Xi Shangbana Dai Autonomous Prefecture in Yunnan, China. I feel like that was pretty good. I mean, that, <laughs> She's that's pretty, essentially what it was. Yeah. But she was like the pride and joy of this place. And she like had like a bunch of like TikTok followers and videos um, and stuff, apparently, that got a lot of likes and stuff. Yeah. And she, she wore like her traditional like outfit that they had there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And she danced a flower by Jisoo. And she did a pretty good job, She's too. She's very, very solid. And she, I mean, um, she was ranked number 14, so people liked her. Yeah. And Gabby's ranked number 7, so. Yeah, high, highly ranked people. And the other girl that went against her, like you said, got one point. So kudos to her. I don't know who you were, but I kudos to you, because usually if you it's don't show five it's 5-0. It's 5-0. So she got one. Um, I really just want to know what the person did, like, to yeah, say the song. I just want to know the song, at least. I mean, it must have been somewhat decent if one They got one. Form, like, a so. vote. She got a vote. Well, she got a vote. Goose egg, like and that, the other that one girl got a whole, like, montage of her life and blah, blah, blah. And, like, she really did. this girl doesn't even get her name. And she still got a point. So, hey, kudos to you, even though you lost. And then our last matchup we had was uh, Justin's favorite name person in the whole show. <laughs> Jelly. Jelly. That's awesome. From the Philippines. And she was number 22. And she went against uh, Jayla, who was number 43. Um... I don't remember what, I guess I can look it up. I don't remember what nationality Jayla was. I believe she was, was Japanese-American. Like Japanese American, something like She's that. She's Japanese-American. Her mom was J- Japanese That's and her right. dad was just American. And she did queen card. She was a lower-ranked one at 43. And Jelly was number 22, who's a higher-ranked one, right? And she did mm-hmm. Pretty Girl. Now, the thing that was crazy to me, this is what I was talking about earlier. It was the top 41 versus the bottom 41. And she picked the girl who was 43... And her reason was, she's also a cute, attractive girl like me. So I felt like it'd be a good competition to go against. And I was like, it's "Cute on like, cute." I get <laughs> strength on strength. I get like, sure, you want to prove you're like, I don't know, cuter than this girl. Yeah. I don't but like, know. why would you not just go with the easy win and just get somebody? I just really because they have the advantage of watching the girls perform like little sure intro video things, so they can see if they're bad or not. I also, I mean, I would. This would be my advice, or what I would do. Is if I saw someone, whatever number they were, doing Queen card, I'm not going against them. Yeah, it's everyone, like unbeatable. everyone loves that damn song. It's true. And you you don't even have to be because it's a song where you don't necessarily need to sing it perfectly, or you just need to have that energy and do the goofy dance. In the and everyone's like, yes, and they love it. And yeah. it's great. Queen card, sure, it's awesome. Whatever. But Although like, I don't, I don't know if they knew what songs people were doing before okay. they went against them. I think they just picked them, and the other people like. But weren't they watching it? No, they, they were watching this little intro thing from like how they do like the little test run. Oh, I thought they were watching what song they were gonna. No, do. they like you know how they all get like individually recorded doing like the little intro stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like that. And they were just watching. Them do oh, that. that makes a lot more sense then because I doubt a lot of the reason I was like, didn't you scout this person? Wouldn't you kind of know what they're doing? So yeah. I guess that makes more sense if you're just 
did like base their opinion of who they're going against off their little like intro like yeah okay intro that makes more sense I was gonna say I would never go against anybody doing queen card because spoiler alert Jelly lost to Jayla who did queen card yeah exactly so she went she against just... her because she thought she was just as cute and just as attractive and turns out she lost so well I thought Sejong actually gave very solid judge judge judgment advice to Jelly. Because she did a car song that I've never heard. I've never heard of either. But it, that was like the whole vibe of it. What was, was like, it? Like, it was like a pretty girl, girl or pretty she girl. She like had like a sash like Miss America. And like she did a good job and sa- she sang really well. And like it really didn't have a lot of dancing. The song was kind of like just whatever. But Sejong was just like, hey, like, you know you're a pretty person. You don't have to go prove that on stage. Like go do the performance and not worry about looking a certain way. And I was like, you know, you know I that was say, like decent advice. Out like, of all the competition shows we've watched, that Sejong really gives like the best advice. She's she's a great judge, out right? Of, like, any judge we've seen on any show. No, uh, <laughs> even in like this show is an hour and a half, right? So it's cut in half of what we mostly see. Uh-huh. But Sejong is like awesome. She's really she's good. not rude. She's not mean to the girls. She's always uplifting and encouraging. And she and gives, actually gives, like, she gives like good. not doing good, she'll be she, like, you need to, like, step it up. Yeah, or, like, like, even if the people who do well, she's like, hey, this is something we want to work on more. Like, Jelly, she's like, you don't have to worry about being, don't try to be pretty. Go do the performance. And, like, it'll take care of itself. Like, I was like, that's good advice. Like, yeah. like usually the other judges just kind of say, on the other shows, just kind of say whatever or, like, but Sejong is a really solid judge. Like, maybe because she's been through it, but... She has. She went I, through the first one. Ever. Yeah, like... The original. I. You're right. She honestly is probably, like, the best judge. I'm trying to think of, like, other judges you've seen on shows. She's just, like... She's such, like, a nice, like, warm person. I honestly... I think we've said on other, other podcasts when we've reviewed stuff. But I feel like some of the judges are just way too positive, even when it's bad. Like, they're... No, not, they're I think so, stuff. too. I think so, too. And then we watched Girls Playing It. Or was it Produced 48... Maybe there's girls playing it. And, like, they're actually like, kind of meaner. To yeah. Like, wow, you guys are like, kind of mean right now. You're kind of being bogus. Because remember we watched boys playing it afterwards, and we're like, they were so much Oh, they are. And they're, like, the joking girls. with the boys. Or the boys would suck or not be good. And they're like, ah, oh, funny. Like, they just kind of brush it off. And you're like, what the heck? You're brutal to these girls. And these guys are worse than them. And, and you're like, it did come up. Because, remember, someone did show us a link. Look, the netizens were saying that they were way too nice to the boys. I agree. I 100% thing. agree. We we saw it every episode, and we were, like, saying it in our podcast. So it's like, either there's two extremes. Either they're way too nice, or they're, like, kind of bogus to them. But Sejong's, like, not mean or too nice to them. She's more, like, honest with them. Like, she's kind of just, like, she's, like, warm, but still you understand her concern, and you want to be better. Just like mom vibes. She really is, like, kind of motherly, like... You just want to be better because you know the advice she's giving you is because she cares. Like, it's not just someone being like, oh, you suck. Or, like, like trying to make him feel bad or cry for TV. Like, are you, do you really want to be here? Like, like that was... Which, I mean, I'll say that judge was totally fair in saying that because you and that girl were veterans, so they should have done better. But Sejong was just... She's just a really good judge. She's probably the best one I've ever also, seen. Also, on the, the whole uh, one-on-one battle thing... We did not see Belle go from second year. Again, a yeah. second week in a row, we did not see her. Belle gets anything. nose time. She missed the comeback with Signature <laughs> for absolutely nothing. She didn't even... I'm just shocked we didn't even get to see her, uh, like, one-on-one battle. We didn't even get to see her go or, against or the, the other person that she lost to. them saying, hey, this person's in a group currently that's, like, a, a group that is okay. Like They brought a, the girl up in Busters who was terrible. Like, here's my question. So, Belle's in Signature... The only reason we knew she lost was because later on in the episode, it showed yeah, the winners that, lined up against the losers in different colored jumpsuits. Yep, yep. And I'm like, is she on the winning side? Like, where is she at? And then we like, they like did a zoom in on her, and she lost. So I'm like, if she lost, I just don't know how good the other person was she went against. Cause or like, what song did she do? Like, how bad could she be? And then I'm like, well, the other idols that already debuted are terrible. Yeah, they were horrible. So I don't really understand the whole dynamic of, I don't know, like, I, the debut idols honestly have been not good at all. No, so maybe she. And was she's just, the third one who was, must I mean, have not she, been good because she lost. She lost, yeah, because the losers they had like a green jumpsuit. Unless but, she just like went up against Narumi. <laughs> yeah, maybe they had the green jumpsuit, and then the winners had a pink jumpsuit, like top and bottom, like pink, and then the like, other ones like were little like, track suits. The other ones were like green. Yeah, I mean, it made sense. You you knew who was who for sure. Um. So, anyways, that was the end of that, and then we got into the second part of the challenge i guess which is like revenge 
So, like you said, he split into two jumpsuit teams. There's pink, top 41, the green, or the lower 41, mm-hmm. based off their, like, one-on-one battles. Um, and the really the benefit to winning the challenge, or I guess the first one, was the winners got to, like, go pick which songs they wanted to do between the two concepts that they – or the five concepts, I guess. Yeah. There was Q, like, Charismatic. I'm trying to remember what they were. Um, oh, gosh. I do not remember. They're all, like – It was all, like, kind of, like, the same. They're all, like, vaguely kind of the same. It was, like, enchanting. Uh, I mean, the other ones – Uh, it was, like, like was there one that was, like, bright or spark- sparkling, sparkling was one. And I'm not – Sure, what the fifth one was. I don't know. It was another like cute like kind of vibe. Sparkling, enchanting. Gosh, what was it? I don't remember. Charismatic. That was that was four of them. And I don't think the last. There's one. one more. Hmm. And honestly, it was like bubbling or something. Yeah, it was, it was like something. It, like it was that. like similar. Anyways, it was similar. We'll get to that next week when they actually have the they other. Didn't, they didn't thing. do that one. They didn't do that one. We always complain about how they do like the background stuff and all this. They like zoomed through all that stuff. Oh, it was like, awesome! It was like they like we were like, let's that. go. So basically, the winning group got to go out and do like a little run sprint thing, like, like five on a yards, basketball court or whatever, to like pick what songs they wanted to do. And mm-hmm. there's two songs. The winners got to choose what song they wanted to do, and the losers got the other one that they got. And I guess I don't know if they really mentioned this song. Maybe I missed it. They got to like pick the other team from the losers that they're gonna go against. Yeah. So they like got to hand pick who they were gonna go against. Like, oh, we're doing the cute concept. This is my team. We're gonna go against these eight girls. And that's yeah. Because when they like the pink winners were gone, picking the song and picking the people, some a PD announcer or whatever would like call the losers out and be like, "You guys are now a group." Like, so I don't know how. I don't know if the actual winning team picked that. Yeah. Or if they picked Somebody it, I don't was. But. Like, that's how we found out Bell did not make yeah. it into the winner yep, team because she was the first one called from the losing she's team. She's the first loser called. I just don't understand it. I don't know what's up with that. But, yeah, so that happened. That's how they determined who was doing what. Mm-hmm. All very quick process. Oh, yeah, the whole Those thing took, awesome. like, maybe, like, what, out of the hour and a half that or maybe whole 10 picking, minutes. Picking the song thing on, like, Produce 48 or even Girls Planet would have taken, like, an hour in itself. Like, See, that's why those other ones are, like, three hours long because... All the side stuff is they show so much. And we've all we've always said if they cut out all the crap and the back like behind the scenes stuff that we know we don't really need on the show, right? They'd be like maybe an hour, hour and a half tops, and that's what every single episode. Pretty much what's this been so far? So once they did that, they kind of came back, and they like went back to the. They had three days to practice, and they went back into the stage arena area thing. thing. And the first group to go up was a cute concept. And the winning team was doing TT by twice. And the losing team, or losers, not winners, I don't know, whatever you call them. Sure. We're doing Tell Me by Akara. Hey, is it a Wonder Girls song? Wonder Girls, my bad. That's an oldie. Well, it was one of those where groups. I come from. Yeah, Wonder Girls, my yeah. bad. Um, it's a song that never goes away. It is a really old song. But yeah, so... The Tell Me girls went first, and they actually did like a little behind the scenes, like practicing kind of thing. <laughs> the best was they're like getting ready to do the stages. And I'm like, man, this is awesome. Like, there's been, because again, we always want to cut out all the behind the scenes. But I mean, in all honesty, they like did their other stuff, and it maybe took like five minutes. No, it wasn't even It was bad. like super but short. But it was just funny because they like did the part where they go back into like the training room, and yeah. we both were just like, ugh. Oh, but it wasn't, bitch. it wasn't long at all. It was. But yeah, it was like nothing. They came out and performed, and I mean, I thought they did okay. I don't, they didn't do bad. It was fine. The judge was like, well, you guys, you know, you did okay, and you didn't give up, so that's good. I'm like, was it that bad to you? Like, I didn't think it was terrible. It was, uh, it wasn't terrible. They're like, you did strong to the finish, and I was like, what? And I'm like, well, that's a good compliment of trying hard, I guess. Like you did but, your best next but time. But probably means you didn't do great, but. Yeah. It was all right. Um, and then it showed the winning team behind the scene thing, and they actually got like, a visit from like Yeji and Cher Young. Yeah, like they got a little coaching. Encourage them and give them snacks. Seems a little unfair. I know, so that's kind of, I guess. But that was cool. Um, a perk good, of being a winner. Good for that. Yeah, true. I guess they won, so they earned it. And then they came out and they did like the little beginning part of TT, and it was already over after. You just, that you just knew the intro with the energy they had and the facial expressions. You're just like, well, unless they like completely fold and give up this energy, like they're going to win. Like they got Like it. their performance did so well. 
that one girl completely like butchered her area because her vocals were not. That oh, strong. it was not very good. Didn't even mention it. They the judges did not say anything about it, which I was kind of shocked. Literally did not say anything about it. That was like the one kind of smudge on that performance because it was a very good performance. But it also helped that they had a uh, so on who apparently is just like the vocal songbird of this generation. Yeah, she's probably gonna make it. And she uh, kind of crushed it out there. So yep. they were good. They were good, and good to no stage. surprise, they got the win. Yep. They won. I, I forgot that when the Tell Me group went, they literally were like, well, it looks like you guys don't have a main dancer and you don't have a main vocal either, but you tried hard. I know. I was like, this is just like a freaking tanking for the pick. Team. It really like, is. They, they don't have any good players. Uh, but no, that was really cool. They actually had a lot of good compliments for the winner girls, but. Yeah, the judges. This is a solid group of judges. Maybe because Sejong's Young's so good, but like, it's a solid group overall. Like, they have pretty good stuff to say. And I'm pretty sure I read it right when they were talking about it. But they originally said there's going to be 41 girls after the first cuts. Sure. So basically they're going to cut them in half. So like the losing group's not eligible to be in the top 41 right away. And the winners are. But out of the winner group, out of the 41 girls, the judges can only send like 20 of them to the final. Or I don't even know if it's the final. But the next round. And then the other like, I guess, 21 girls are voted yeah. in by the fans. So half of them get put in there for being, like, good, and the other ones get voted in by the fans. Yeah, they essentially, like, fall back into the all the losing team. So, yeah, it's weird. It's so like, it's, like, 60 people around. <laughs> it's like the losers are in the loser bracket, and then if you're on the winning team, you can still be in the loser bracket. So, like, so it, the winning matter. team just gives you the chance to be picked by the judges to make it, but, like, it doesn't no, mean you're gonna no be. one's really safe. No. Because like, it's going to come down to fan voting. Except for the, like, eight or nine girls that kept showing repeatedly. <laughs> I know. I feel like we're getting a lot of same. Uh, They're safe. A lot of safe, uh, safe people out there. But it's a pr- that's a pretty interesting. I mean, we haven't really had one like that before. So no, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Sure, I guess. Why not? Got to throw a twist in there somewhere because for some reason it's a good old fashioned. You win, you're in, and you lose, you're right. out. It just doesn't fly. I know they just never do that. So I think the coolest thing we've ever seen on one of those was just the planet pass because it's like. Cause you just had no idea. It didn't matter who got in the top because everyone just wanted that last planet pass. Like, everyone's, like, oh, so man. desperate to make it. And, like, it could have been anybody, too. It wasn't, like, you know. It, was it wasn't just, voted. I was literally picked by the judges. It was the judges picked it, so it could have been, like, technically the dead last person. I don't know. There's sometimes in show I'm going to be, like, this person's up for this position, didn't get in. Now they're up for this position, didn't get in. Now they're up for the planet pass. I know. And they're like, at that time, we're like already crying because they haven't got in twice. And then they're just like, oh my gosh. Planet pass. Planet in. pass is awesome. We need that for this. Can we get that universe the ticket? Universe, can you like give out the, the Willy Wonka ticket? The little ticket there? before the universe ticket just to get that uh, last person in there. But yeah, so that's, that's pretty, pretty much, much what happened. Sh- yeah, that's pretty much the show. Performances, which is kind of sick. It's more performances than downtime. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. We did see where they actually like in like a cafeteria and they're eating food, so that's good. That's good. Their place they're staying looks really nice. It looks way nicer than Girls Planet and Boys Planet. It yeah, like nice. Little, it's like, like a, it looks like a hotel. Like little hotel thing with like three nice, beds in it. Like nice. it's very cool. Good for them for uh, not having the little tiny bunks. I will say they have kind of built up a weird tension between some of the girls that. I don't know why. Yeah, it is. It's true. And, like, this show has, like, got a nice flow to it, and it works pretty well with it kind of being, like, more, like, cut down than normal ones. But they have had times where they're, like, trying to make them seem really vicious toward each other. Like, literally, like, the one girl's, like, sharing a room with the other girl, and she's, like, I totally picked her because I thought I could beat her. Now my pride is extremely hurt because I lost. And you're just, like, oh, okay. Like, it's really kind of, like. And then the one girl, like, walked in and is, like, oh, the winner. Like, who's got some ramen? And they play, like, the, like. Like intense music for a second. You're yeah, like, I don't know. They kind of. That was like reality the... TV kind of thing. Where yeah. I guess I guess it is, but where it's like the two people who hate each other. But they kind of uh, they so definitely like, have like had some moments like that. Where I'm like, dang, this is like actually this isn't just like healthy competition. They're like making them look like they hate each other. Yeah, it's weird. Which they usually don't do that on. Because everyone tries to be like as friendly as possible. I will say another thing that's kind of funny is when you watch like the cutaways so the girls watching the other girls. There's like so many like just fake smiles like yeah. oh yeah you did yeah. good or, oh yeah. you <laughs> the never, camera's on me you never know when the camera's gonna get you but you can tell it's just like not genuine like they're not like yeah. cheering for him or anything Every, or it doesn't seem like that so. right right no, it's, it's actually a pretty entertaining show though like it's pretty cool I just like how it 
they kind of get right to business and get the performances and move on. Like, yep, just like in that Mulan song. Yep, absolutely. When they're going to fight the Huns. But, at, and at this rate, we don't know how many episodes it is, but maybe it's going to be a lot shorter than it we It does think. kind of seem like it's going to be short. Because we're already going to have half <clears throat> the people cut next week. Yeah, I, I think so. I guess, unless we're just really going to stretch this out into multiple episodes. Uh, you never know, I guess. But, yeah, so that's episode two. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to episode three and seeing the other performance yeah. stages. We'll see what happens. And, well, we'll do our normal episode for this week, and we'll get back to you with more Universe Ticket next week. Check and, it out. But until then, we'll talk to you later. Peace. Later. <laughs>